Facilitating Ecological Living for All, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 175. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 175, July 31st, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll subscribe you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the second 25% of the written content for the Honesty and Integrity lesson plan to the website, as you can see here. This lesson plan purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of honesty and integrity, is now 50% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the final 25% of the written part of the honesty and integrity lesson plan. We also completed the second 25% of the mind map for the information lesson plan, bringing it to 50% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. As part of the development of our food self-sufficiency transition plan, this week the corrections to our nutrition calculations that naturopathic Dr. Matt Martirano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health, made were added to our Sustainable Food Nutrition Calculations page. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind the scenes revision for the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week, we researched EPS and XPS insulation and wrote up a narrative for the 16-gauge galvanized wire for its use in attaching to eBay Course 9 and to flashing. We also added photos and narratives for half-inch black poly tubing, 10-inch aluminum flashing, rubber mallet, straw, hacksaw, 16-gauge galvanized wire, sealing tape, and caulking. We'd say we are now 92% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. The core team also reformatted and updated the remaining three village pages. Shipping Container Village, Pod 5, Recycled Materials Village, Pod 6, and the Treehouse Village, Pod 7. This included adding new residence and social space details, the new renders that have been completed, imagery from the design process of each village, an index to the top of each page, what and why sections to each page, as well as new resources and resource sections. Sal Rubio, industrial designer, continued working on creating professional do-it-yourself earth bag village Murphy bed furniture assembly instructions. What you see here is week 10 of this process that included this update to the component cutting instructions, the first draft of a table of contents, and a call with the core team brainstorming the two sketches as evolutions for the table of contents designs. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, continued evolving the renders for the straw bale village pod 2. 
What you see here are two new layouts for the family living spaces with loft redesigned to better reflect the sustainability and recreational values of the people who will be living here. Vidya Patil, quantity surveyor and civil CAD drafter, also joined the team and completed her first week of cost analysis for the Straw Bale Village. The beginning of this work focused on the bedroom and bathroom details shown here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 29 of his work that focused on finishing the rooftop grill designs. Also, Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD draftsperson and designer, joined the team and began evolving the compressed earth block village Pod 4. You can see his first week of work here, showing the addition of family living units on the north side of the structure. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued with his seventh week of Photoshop work on the renders for the Shipping Container Village Pod 5, and also started working on the main render for the Compressed Earth Block Village Pod 4. Starting the extensive process of adding a blue overlay that will evolve into blue accents. For the Shipping Container Village, the focus was on creating a residence room with different details and color formats from the visitor's room, and also beginning one of the dining hall renders. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued updating the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book created by last year's intern team. What you see here is week 10 of this work, including two updated pages and the before and after graphics created for one of them. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued developing the Duplical City Center in 3D. What you see here are the updates in the dining dome, where we increased the driveway to the cellar to a width of 13 feet, and rearranged the cellar shelves and moved the outside boiler room to the corner of the basement, where it is now close to the garage door. We also ran test renders for the kitchen and fixed some structural discrepancies in the natural pool and spa area. Additionally, we worked with Bupesh Sithala, interior designer and drafter, to clarify this outline of SketchUp to AutoCAD discrepancies so we could start updating the window and door plan and creating our section drawings. Ira Sue, industrial designer, continued exploring recycled pipe shelving and overhead lighting options for the Duplicate City Center Library. What you see here is round 13 of this work of initial renders to test two different art options for the center of the pipe shelving wall. Neha Verma, construction project manager and bachelors of architecture, also continued developing the city center project brief that will update the city center plans page when complete. This week's focus was a file naming tutorial we'll use for all projects and details about why we chose geodesic domes. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued her work on the lighting zones by updating the AutoCAD file and double-checking all the zones with a simpler labeling method. Hayes Lay, structural engineering student, continued his work on the live load calculations for the city center dining dome frame as seen here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team completed the first round of the Cobb Village Pod 3 color board and the first round of the color board for the compressed earth block village Pod 4, bringing both to about 85% complete. Also this week, we revised and completed the Straw Bale Village color board with final color callouts. Jennifer Zhao, web designer, additionally continued her work developing the new website structure. What you see here is week three of her work as she continues to build the new homepage structure and functionality with a focus on the top sliders and menus. The purpose of One Community is facilitating ecological living for all people. Our idea is if we can make ecological living easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And our way of accomplishing that is through open sourcing and free sharing do-it-yourself instructions, tutorials, and do-it-yourself blueprints for highest good living. 
highest good living model that we subscribe to is a combination of physical sustainability, which is food, energy, and housing, combined with emotional sustainability, which is highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. We're putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability that will fulfill that attractive component. Easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate ecological living as attractive enough so the idea won't spread on its own. And we believe that if we can create teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs that meet that criteria, they will be not only self-sufficient and self-sustainable, but also they will become self-replicating. We call these solution models purpose to create additional solution creating models. And our idea for facilitating ecological living for all people everywhere is to bring together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all to create these ideas, these models, make them easy enough, affordable enough, demonstrate them as attractive enough and open source it all so that they'll spread across the world as solution models to create additional solution creating models and transform life on this planet positively and permanently for everyone and everything. For the first time in the history of humanity, we see an opportunity to create a truly sustainable civilization. But we don't see it happening unless we make it easy enough, affordable enough, demonstrate it's attractive enough. And so this is what one community is doing. If this sounds interesting to you, if it sounds exciting to you, if it sounds fun to you, we've got lots of different ways to participate because we're making it as easy as possible for people to get involved. We are a nonprofit, 100% volunteer organization. So if you'd like to get involved, you can join us as a pioneer member, which are the people that will move to the property and actually build one community. You can join us as a volunteer or a consultant working behind the scenes, or you just help share our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible, and it is a huge way to help us. Share our information on Facebook, on Twitter, on Tumblr, on Reddit, on Pinterest, and about 15 other social media networks. Sue, to make it to, to help us get this information out there because if a people if people don't have the information in the hands if they don't know that we exist how will we reach that tipping point of participation where we'll finally see this global transformation movement really really start to create global change we're creating the blueprints the do-it-yourself instructions to make the facilitation of ecological living for all a possibility but we need people to help spread the word of course, we're also still looking for large-scale funding. People ask us, well, what's the biggest thing that people could do to help you? Well, joining our team is huge. Sharing our information on social media is fantastic. Largest thing that people could do to help us is help us get the large-scale funding that we need to purchase the property and start to construct all the details that we've been working on now for five years. Get the property off the market so we can share that location so that we can start to do the on-the-ground details that are necessary as far as a site survey and other details our concern and we can start open sourcing those specifics and take our whole open source process and our team growth process to the next level. So if you or somebody you know has the resources or knows somebody that has the resources to help us with large scale funding by either investing in one community or donating to our 501c3, we would definitely like to talk to you. The process of facilitating ecological living for all is something that I've personally been working on now for 20 years. Our organization has been working on it for five years, and we have a team of hundreds of people that have helped at this point, all volunteer bring us to where we are now. It really is just a process of reaching that tipping point. Tipping point first is an organization so that we can finish all the blueprints, then the next tipping point where we can complete building enough of the blueprints so that we can open source it at a level that inspires people to start replicating our model, then reaching that tipping point where our self-replicating model is replicating, is doubling each year, and then ultimately reaching that tipping point where we have positively and permanently impacted life of every single living creature in some way on the planet. And if you run the numbers, that is possible within our lifetime. And this is why we're addressing all the things we're addressing, the food, the energy, the housing, the education, the economic models, the fulfilled living model. We're putting it all together as that evolution of sustainability because we see all of these things as not only interdependent or sorry, interrelated, but also as interdependent. Fixing one without fixing the others, addressing one without addressing the others is only putting a bandaid on the problem. And so our challenge is to address them all simultaneously and create those self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, solution models, purpose to create additional solution creating models, built open source that people can, so people can adapt them in the way that works best for them, achieving their individual goals, but all moving forward in a way that is positive for humanity and all life on our planet. This is what One Community is up to. We invite you to join us. We thank you for following our progress. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content and details that we talk about each week, visit our written blog.
visit our website. Also, if you'd like to be added to our email list and receive uh, email every time one of these updates comes out, send email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for following our progress. Thank you for the small donations that we get. They help a lot. Covering our basic expenses, none of us are paid, so everything that we that's donated to us goes to our basic operating expenses, and we're grateful for that. Thank you for watching to the end, and as I say every single week, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.